What's up guys and gals and welcome back to Transistor. The game spawned like I did like a save point after I got done with that save point I like equipped a thing that they gave me because I was gonna fiddle around with my equipment in between episodes And it spawned a fight on me, so I figured we jump straight back in on the fly So here we go. I'm gonna fight you right here right now So you please no, we don't need that many. We don't need that much overkill I mean, I'm a fan of stabbing things in the ass, but right now. Oh, he moved little douchebag Well Let me see... Really, he just like evades everything? Let me see what I can do here. We may have to go this route and just spam AoEs on everything. Since they're so good at running around. Although if you use the AoEs, what I'm noticing is if you use the AoEs inside of your little... God, that is an annoying side effect. Inside of your turn-based system, if you use AoEs, it actually, the explosions don't affect them. It's only the initial bolt that does anything, so it might be better just to, like, do that. And just, like, double taunt. So he's gonna go away, and then we'll do it again. And Oh, good, she does follow him. I was worried about that. Let me grab his cell. And I equipped a thing called a limiter. I don't really know what that means. But anyways, it equipped it, and it said that every now and again it's gonna spawn a shield or something, like on a 2% chance. I'll show you guys it in just a second. I think I'm just going to keep shooting at him. If he goes off to the side, though, it's going to be a problem for us. There we go. A little bit of damage done. And then I'm going to hide out until my turn-based is back up. And once we are all ready for turn-based action... It's on. Yeah, I already knew that it was on, man. The fight's been kicking on for a while now. Is he facing the wrong way? Oh, he is. Good. Well, then let's handle this. Ugh, he turned around again. Oh, well. At least he's stunned for a little bit. Sitting there with that little grid around him. Ooh, almost got... Okay, let's actually undo that zigzag. There we go. We'll go over to here. He's going to evade that one. We'll give him a breach, and then we'll give him a spark. And down he goes with the one-two punch. Got to wait for my abilities to come back, and I think you break these. Yeah, there it is right there. You actually got to smash those open, because now they've got a shield that won't allow you to just grab the cell automatically. So it's an extra little bit of injury to add to our already substantial pile of insult. And I think he's just going to evade that. Yeah, he's just going to evade. So let's just go from over here. I'm going to go one of those, and then we'll go another one. And then he should be pretty much wrapped up. I keep saying wrapped up, and I'm kind of hungry right now, and it keeps making me think of, like, pita wraps. I'm just like, mmm, a pita wrap would be great with, like, some bacon or something in it. Oh. Limiter bonus of 2%. Okay, so let's take a look at this. this straight. The Camerata. They think they can stop you with these process things. But you're just getting stronger. So let's take a look. And if I hold down the right trigger on this menu, it takes us to process limiters, but it doesn't necessarily say what they do. It says, when in use, the process will spawn shielded cells when they're terminated. And I don't really know if that keeps them from being destroyed. I think I'm... Oh, I'm making my own game harder. Okay, so now I get it. I just had to read it really fast. So basically, I'm making my own game more difficult in order to get a 2% XP bonus, which doesn't really seem that worth it to me. And these unlock just like everything else does, so you'll unlock more and more of these little lore bits as you use it longer and longer. I'm gonna leave... I'm gonna turn it off, honestly. I don't really feel like playing with limiters, unless there's gonna be some that... You know, I don't know. If it, if it would add more HP to the enemies or whatnot, I'd be fine with that, but just like little things like having to pop bubbles and things before I can grab the cells and stop them from respawning seems a little iffy to me. Not feeling it right now. I do like, though, that they give you the option for some hard mode stuff if you're not a weenie like I am. I mean, on that side, for those of you out there who really like to punish yourselves, I don't want to go that way. There's a large arena and something bad's going to happen. I can also get Jaunt back, as I recall. Yes. Okay, so let's remove the pet. We'll put Jaunt back in. And what happens if we slot the pet on something? Cell destroy chance. Oh, okay. So on that one, let's see what it does for our jaunt. On our jaunt, it spawns us a copy, and our copy has life. That seems kind of interesting. We have... I don't know what cell destroy chance means. Let's test it. I don't know if that just gives you the chance to insta-kill something. I don't know. A lot of the terminology they use in this game 
is fairly poorly translated. And I don't say that to be mean or anything like that, or to, you know, to just draw a critique on just like random stuff, but I do feel like gives most functions a chance. Oh, okay, so if you kill them using the ability, they do define it. It's my fault. I didn't read well enough. So give most functions a chance to prevent cells from spawning. So basically what it does is if you kill an enemy with the ability that this is slaughtered on, they will not spawn one of those little cells that you have to pick up to keep them from respawning. So that's not terrible. It's not a bad ability. Let's go ahead and throw that on. I, I wanna I wanna see what these copies do. Oh, that's really, really cool. That actually gives you a little bit of a decoy so that as you're playing through, you don't have to worry about getting annihilated. Given how many things chase me in this game, I'm gonna consider keeping that on for a little while. Looks like you get to put off selection for a while longer. What's selection? I don't know what that means. I'm gonna need like a translation. This thing should come with like an extra little book of just like syntax to teach you what they're talking about sometimes. I'm sure they'll explain it later. Oh, that doesn't look friendly. It looks like a chomper. Are you a chomper? I don't really know what I'm fighting against right now. Ow, but I've just been hit with some big shiny balls and I'm not feeling okay about it. He's gonna evade. We'll go for a second one right there. Oh, and that's all that I get to do. I'm just trying to make sure that I don't have any of these enemies around that are going to be causing me major problems. Oh, there's another one over there, too. Okay. Since I can get a little bit of AoE damage... Actually, can I do this in any better way? Let's see here. Let's say that I blink. No, that's not going to help. I don't have the explodey thing on anymore. Well... Eh, let's just go for that. We'll see what happens. Either way, we might get the creep done, and we'll deal a little bit of damage to the boss, too, at the same... I'm still sort of... I can't flourish. Yeah, we're causing all kinds of problems for the AI now. Let's see if I can get rid of this cheerleader before anything else bad happens. Yeah, just being able to divert shots like that is really, really useful. I'm impressed by how good that is. Oh, I ran out of energy. So we'll just go there. We'll kill off the creep. And then we'll keep on moving. Our health is looking a little bit suspect anyways. So let's go ahead and... Ah, see, it stuck me in the wall again. Let's go ahead and make a few more of these. We'll get the cheerleader. Eh. The cheerleader doesn't appear to have a backside that actually counts, so I'm just going to have to go... Oh, well, I mean, that's what I've got, so let's do it. You use the tools that you have available, and right now I need a screwdriver. No doubt, something like a hammer might be useful, but the screwdriver will work for the minute. I'm gonna go for the kill. I'm gonna go for the kill right there, and then maybe throw out another one at the snapshot since it's not paying attention. We'll see if the decoys actually keep it from dodging. I think there's a positive chance that it might, and now I'm slowed somehow. Let's do a few more decoys. Now that we're back in, I'm going to do a double right there, and that's all we're going to do on that turn. Grab that cell. Spawn a couple more. They kill them pretty fast, but it's a useful ability in my opinion. They do take them out really, really quickly, but it buys you just that extra snap second to get something done that needs to get done. And that's the aspect that I really like about it. We better do something. We got giant cube monsters spewing out little monsters that spew out lasers. There's a whole lot of spewing going on, and all of it's in my direction. I'm not okay with that. Directionally, that's bad. I want it going somewhere else. You know, I've never once seen the Fister's Bureau open. I thought for a second he said the Fister's Bureau. I was like, what? Wow, the digital world just got... I mean, I, I should have known. I mean, the digital world. What would the digital world be without those sorts of things? I rise but... is dead ahead. Across the canals. Okay, high-rise district, here we come. Much nicer last time we were here. 
What is that? It's like a weird egg on a stick. No, that's an egg with female legs. Or some kind of face or something. Uh, we'll find out in just a minute. Hey there, little guy. You lost? No? We better move. Yeah, I don't think he's lost. Oh, never mind. It's like an egg on the back of a tadpole... A tadpole dinosaur or something. Oh my god, they're artillery. I'm gonna keep it simple. Follow the KISS protocol. Also give him some more targets to shoot at. Yep, let him waste them bullets. One down. Cluckers. Use that to get in here. Oh, I'm not in his backside, but if I'm in his backside, then chances are bad things are going to happen because I'm going to take damage. So let's just go ahead and take care of him. I love the turn-based mechanic in this game. It is really excelsior. I'm assuming somebody felt the need to artillerize me. We have Bounce, which was the first ability that we didn't take. Oh, so at level 5, it's letting us choose between the stuff that we didn't take. I'm going to go with Bounce. I just don't feel like the charm is going to be any better. We've got a Permission. Passive bonuses from functions. The opens the first passive slot for use with any function. Okay. And then another limiter. So we could choose what the limiters between the process will strike with twice as much power. The process will sometimes spawn two cells when terminated. Oh my god. It's pretty brutal. It's getting late. The street should be packed. Oh, I guess I can hum anywhere if I hold down the left shoulder button. Maybe there's certain locations that you should hum in order for things to happen. Hmm? Another enemy here. I'm gonna run up on him. What is that? No, I want it over here. We should be outside the range anyways, but then we gotta duck and get away from the weeds. Normally I have the opposite reaction. Oh, that's not what I wanted either. I'm going to jaunt over here. Did I grab that? Or is that still alive? Well, either way. Is it cheaper to jaunt? Yeah, it's cheaper to jaunt. So let's jaunt... ...to there. And then we'll jaunt to... Oh, I don't know. I think I'm outside my own range right now. Jaunt to there. And then hit him twice. And then go back this way. There it is. Awesome. This is a really big battlefield, by the way. Oh, they're gonna respawn, aren't they? Yeah, let me go grab those. Uh, that's not what I wanted either. I keep hitting, I don't know why, I think there was another game I played where my trigger button triggered a dash, and that's why I keep, I want a dash, but every time I hit the trigger button, it starts the turn based and I think I'm dashing. I don't know what it, I must have played something in close proximity to this that had a dash button there. And I mean, it'll all be okay. Still. Ooh, it didn't kill him. Okay, that's fine. We got a copy out of it, so they'll sit and mess with him for a little bit. As soon as we get our B button back. These things aren't so great at moving around rapidly, so I think I should be able to target him. And then we'll corner trap this little guy to keep us from having to use any of our further resources dealing with this combat. We made him mad. And then we'll check the OVC terminal. Hard-hitting pull. Blue skies are a choice. Help create an unforgettable quarterly solstice by choosing your favorite evening sky color. The sky looks blue because we want it to. That is sort of interesting. 
Let's go for something. We're gonna go against the grain right here. Deep red. Still the best. 36% is not a bad vote on a poll with four options. That one's probably gonna be Zawina. Back to the scene. Let's see what we got going on over here. We could turn on what happens if you turn on all the limiters? I'm kind of interested in finding out. I'm not interested in getting hit twice as hard. That seems kind of scary. Maybe we'll do like an extra episode where I go like all out or something with all the really, really hard stuff. I think we're about full. No, we can actually put bounce on something. Let's put bounce on something. I'm going to put bounce. I think I'm going to put bounce on my AoE because maybe it'll release the AoE each time it bounces. Good to go. It looks like it limits the range though, I think. Let me find out here. Yeah, it looks like it makes the range lower unless I just wasn't paying attention to the range before. I think it said that though. Does it? It's got to say that somewhere. Well, maybe I'll just put it on this one then. Oh, we have a passive slot too. Hold on. Let me see what I can do with the passive slot first. So in the passive slot, we get a deflection shield, which has five seconds of duration. What do some of these others do? Let's go ahead and unequip everything and just see what happens when we put things in our passive. Oh, it says already. I didn't even need to do that. Durr. That's embarrassing. So let me go through and do this one more time. Sorry, guys. That's dumb move numero uno for the day. Or maybe I might be on five or six. I don't really keep count very well. Who would? So we can become undetectable after limiting targets. I think I'd still rather leave that on backstab, to be honest. They are giving more and more defenses against backstabbing, but I still think it's worth getting like, reasonably well to where I don't have to cut it off yet. I don't like... I generate volatile packets, yeah. I don't really want things blowing up anywhere, so I think I'd rather just add an area of effect onto something else. With you, 25% chance to become a super user on turn. So that's kind of like when I was a kid when you go to laser tag, every both teams had a random gun that was supercharged. It's like that. It just gives us a chance to be awesome. And so this one I think I'm actually just going to put as the passive so that we get our energy shield. Energy so that sounds swell. That sounds very, very swell. Oh, I forgot to equip the thing that makes me make copies. Hold on. Making copies. Oh my god, did I just make a Polly Shore reference? How often does that happen around here? Wait, what's different right now that's not allowing me to... I do want my copies. For sure I want my copies because it's just way too useful. So if I have to give up on other things for my copies, so be it. I can live in that world. I guess these just aren't getting equipped then. If you look on the left-hand side, I explained this earlier, but there's a stick right here that says memory. Looks like, I don't know... Mega Man's energy pool or something. When that's full up, we can't equip anything else, so you're kind of limited. You can't bring all super abilities, basically. These little pips in the top left corner, those tell you how much energy it takes in order to equip them, and so certain abilities are going to cost more. And this one, the ability to spawn nearby copies of ourselves has been incredibly useful so far, and so I'm kind of afraid to get rid of it right now. I'm just going to use my AoE, which really seems to affect those little guys negatively. It makes them quite inflicted with the symptoms of the deadness, and that's awesome. There's nothing I want more than being, them being very, very dead. I'm going to backstab the hell out of him. Hopefully he turned around. They're getting smarter. We'll pick up his core. Oh, and I'm recharging. Teleport out of the range of that. Destroy the weed. Destroy that thing like the DEA is coming, and then blow him up with a bunch of X spam. I don't want this. I don't want this. 
Hold on, I want to try something. Hey! Is anyone out there? I thought so. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about you giving away our position, bud. I'm feeling like that's probably not the best tactical decision to be making right now. And we already saved, so I don't really need to do that. Let's just keep moving. Yikes. Ooh. They got more friends. Run. Just that's a lot of artillery. Well, I was going to go explore more, but I guess not. Now that they've bombarded the whole thing, they just pulled a total Imperial Guard on us and just wiped the whole plate out with an explosion. All right. Wiped the whole place out. Wiped the whole place out with explosions to finish my sentence. Red. Have a look out there. Toward high rise. Traverson Hall. The annex building. They're not there. Anymore. Half the skyline's disappeared. Whatever's after us, it's spreading. The Camerata. They'd rip this whole town apart. To get us. Or to get away. Trying to rip everything apart. And when everybody knows that families rip things together, that's... You gotta work together with the Is fam. Alright, well, we might as well check out and see what goodies they have going for us. More those well, doors opened up. How about we shut them? Yeah, we'll shut them on the next episode. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in the next episode of our playthrough of... Oh my god, I am totally brain farting right now. Transistor. There we go. It's been a long, long day. It's been a really, really long day. It's made by Supergiant Games. It's 1999 on Steam right now. Go check it out, and I'll see you guys in episode number five.